The stage is set, including these plexiglass shields, which had been an early point of contention between the campaigns. Mike Pence and Kamala Harris will be seated just over 12 feet apart, instead of the seven as initially planned. Another coronavirus protection put in place as the candidates sit down face to face for the first and only time during the campaign. Analysts say for Vice President Pence, the goal is present the Republican agenda without Donald Trump's personality. So he's going to prosecute that case, try and present the Democrats as being too far left for the middle of the country. While also pointing out the administration's work over the last four years, something Harris, a former prosecutor, is expected to focus on as well. I'm looking for, rather than Senator Harris fact-checking him every 30 seconds, but holding his feet to the fire for what he is responsible for and what his boss is responsible for. Here's the format for the evening. There will be no opening or closing statements. Topics will be separated into nine, ten-minute discussions, with Vice President Pence getting the first question. A big question for those tuning in Everybody in your administration is, is will this showdown dissolve into the shout fest of the first presidential debate? Hopefully, I'm sure it'll be more civil. Civil and safe. It's what most are hoping to see here tonight. Jay Gray, NBC News, Salt Lake City. Okay, to set the scene inside, there'll be about 200, 250 people. Those in the audience will be social distanced. Everyone has to have a COVID test and they have to wear these masks provided by the university. Anyone who refuses, officials say, will be escorted from the building. Jay Gray, NBC News, Salt Lake City.